video of my microdermal piercing update. I told you guys I would make an update video, but I was just too busy or I forgot, I guess. So I didn't get to make like an update video while they were healing. So I thought I would just make one now to show you guys and share with you guys everything and let you know what they're up to or whatever. Um, okay. In two days will be Sunday and that will be three weeks that I've had them. So I've had them for about three weeks now. Um, I love them to death. I think they're so pretty and so beautiful. And um, they're doing fine except for the one that fell out and had to be put back in the next day. That one's I call the stubborn one because it's not laying as flat as the normal one or as, you know, the other one is. And I was told that's because not all microdermals lay as flat as the others or, you know, whatever. So I'm still worried about the one that fell out, which I call the stubborn one. Sometimes because it sometimes it lifts up real high and then like within the night or the next day it comes back down but other than that I think it's fine um it's gonna need cleaned out soon I believe because there's like this stuff coming out of it it's trapped like under the microdermal to where you can't clean it out you have to go get it cleaned out and the top has to be taken off and everything so I'm waiting until they're completely heal healed to get that done um, other than that, I think that one's doing fine. The skin is starting to grow back from where it was, like, ripped out. So, that's good. As soon as the skin is fully grown back around the microdermal, that's when I'm going to be completely safe and I'm not going to worry anymore. Um, good thing I can sleep on my side now. I believe I can. I still am a little bit scared to try to, you know, sleep on my side the entire night. So I'll go from laying on my back to the side and I'll keep switching. Just to make sure, you know, I'm slowly trying to make sure if it's okay to sleep on the side again. But I do believe I can sleep on my side, which is, for me, the most comfortable position to sleep. Um, I clean them like you would a normal piercing. I clean them as much as I should. Hmm. The left one, which is the one that's not, the one that didn't fall out, the good one, the one that's sitting perfectly and everything, that one doesn't hurt anymore to, you know, be touched or anything. Like yesterday, my kitten jumped up on my chest and he touched the normal one and it didn't hurt. But then he accidentally touched the stubborn one and that hurt. So that one's still hurting, but the other one's not. But overall, they're completely fine. It's been three weeks. I'm in love with them. Um, they did not hurt to get done. I'm actually thinking of getting more done, but I'm not sure where. I want, I'm thinking about getting my tragus pierced, but I'm not sure because I can't do cartilage piercings. They are just too painful to me. So I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas of what I should get, leave it below, you know, because I know I want another piercing, but I'm not sure what or where. So if you guys can help me out with that, what do you think would look good on me, you know, or whatever, and let me know and tell me. Um, I guess I'll show you the microdermals now. Let me see. Um, there they are. They are, sh they're not crooked, they're straight. It's just the way I guess I'm positioning, or the camera. Now, let me see. This one is the perfect one that's sitting straight and flat and has no problems. And then this one over here is the stubborn one, the one that fell out the night um, right after I got it done and had to be put back in. This is the one that still hurts to be touched and the one that the skin is starting to grow back around. But yeah. Overall, I love them. They're a great piercing, and if you want them done wherever on your body, I say you should totally go get them done because they are an amazing piercing. I love them. Um, so, 
Yeah, if you want them done, definitely go get them done. They do not hurt. Believe it or not, they hurt less than a normal piercing. But I got mine done with the... Uh, oh, what's it called? I think it's the, like, dermal punch. Like, the thing that you, you know, it punches you in. That's what I got mine done with. I did not get mine done with a free hand needle that they put in your skin and then put the jewelry in. That's not how I got mine done. That actually looks way more painful than what I got. I just got the punch. It's, it looks like a scalpel, kind of, but it has, like, it's in the shape of a circle. That's the thing I got, and that does not hurt. So if you can, try to get that, not the freehand needle kind. But, yeah, so that's my update micro drum roll piercing video. And if you have any requests, or like I said, um, any piercings you think would look cute on me, let me know. And I will get back to you guys whenever. So I hope everyone has a good day. And, yeah. Okay, guys, bye.